My name is Chef Billy Phillips. I am the uh, I'm the chef over the school district of Manic Cove, and I'm also the assistant director of dining services. Okay. And uh, what company are you with? Uh, Chartwheels. Chartwheels. It is a uh, sub company that is that. We work for and with Magnet Cove School District. Very good. Um, how how do you think these uh, student IDs that East did will help improve the lunch line or breakfast line efficiency? Well, it's, uh, since since all the students are limited on how much lunch time they have, our breakfast time it will speed up. It will increase speed of service. So if they're not having to wait in line to type in their numbers or anything like that, they can just use the barcode with their IDs and then uh, the, the operator at the POS system can just push one button and they're on their way instead of having to type in six numbers or however many, whatever their, their student ID numbers are. Right. So it will, it will speed up service. Okay, good, good. And uh, you kind of answered this, uh, how, by having these student IDs, how will that make, how will it make your guys job easier for chart wheels. It'll be less error and it will keep it will have more of an accountability to right. make sure that you know if a, if a student comes back around and wants seconds or once we're able to open the a la carte room then they can use the same IDs uh, to purchase op, uh, items off of the a la carte aisle uh, and, not, and once again not have to touch anything you know it's just it's, it is their personal own ID. Right. Correct. Okay. And um, how do you see this helping? You think this will help the school district as a whole too, as well? Yes. Well, I mean, you know, it, it, it's all about numbers. I mean, uh, which is sad to say, but you know, sometimes you know, so that we can, so the school district can have an accountability uh, with how many students are eating uh, breakfast and lunches, and then once the all cart is open and running then they can, you know, it, it will show how many kids are going in and purchasing Cokes or uh, snacks or, or even a second meal. Uh, so, you know, it, it will help the, the it will help Manico School District keep up with who's eating, how much is, you know, what percentage of participation is being, you know, is, is being spent in the cafeteria or the all department. Okay. Yes, yeah, I, I I can definitely see that. Uh, what what if any benefits do you think the student IDs will be to the students themselves? Well, I mean, they don't have to worry about touching anything. You know, I mean, you know, if you've got you know, even though Miss Cindy, who's the manager, she wipes it off. You know, and and in that, with her having to wipe off the touchpad, it slows down the line. Right. So if the students aren't having to, to actually put their fingers on it, all they have to do is just swipe their cards or put it in front of the scanner at any POS system, then it, it's less of a chance of them touching anything and becoming contaminated or, or making something sure. that is, you know. Sure, absolutely. Which kind of leads us into the next question. Uh, do you think by having these student IDs, obviously you kind of answered that, uh, Will that help stop uh, spread the COVID-19 that's, go of course, the coronavirus that's going around? Right. I, you know, it, I think that, that if, if, we're, if we are proactive and right. any, any steps or any means that we can help, help eliminate additional points of contact, it, right. we may not totally eliminate it, but if we can have the percentage in our favor to where it's less contact. Uh, you know, in, inside of the cafeteria on the line, we've got uh, protective barriers up. We got uh, placing glass up so that so that everyone is safe right. on the side of the line for the for all the students and then sure. for the staff working. Everyone wears their their proper PPE, and this is just an, another means of, of keeping it within reason, you know, and, and so so it's, it's not another point of contact, you know, it just helps. Right, right. And that's that's kind of what everything's all about is number of contacts, number of times that 
people actually have to contact with surfaces and stuff like that sure yes sir well we appreciate you so much for taking time out of your busy set schedule to come and, and talk to us and we appreciate you allowing east the opportunity to uh to try and do these and hopefully uh this will be helpful for you guys uh in the school district as a whole yes sir well i mean it's you know it's i don't think it's a it's a one-time thing i think as the the uh you know fourth grader fifth grader sixth grader you know as they they move up we may have to look at maybe having a more recent picture sure but sure. for at least a year or a couple of years you know they can use the same you know the same id sure their their account number won't change right. so i mean so i mean it's 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 not a uh, something short term but i mean you know it's, it's something that will benefit for for long term Right. And so, and I really appreciate y'all taking on this task. It, it helped me out uh, a lot because I mean, because you know, I, my inbox is full, sure. and uh, and I'm looking at possibly getting a second inbox. But uh, <laughs> right. But yeah, I mean, it, it it took a load, it took a burden off of my shoulders, and y'all y'all helping out, and, and I really, you know, that's all part of us. Even though I am Chartwell's Magnet Cove, you know, it's a partnership and we sure. work with each other. Right, right. And so I really appreciate all that work y'all have done. Well, thank you so much. And yes, we sir. appreciate the opportunity to do, to, to be able to take on this project. And uh, if we can do anything in the future, we'll do it. Yes, sir. I got your number. <laughs>